Welcome everybody to RVT. This is RVT in conjunction with RMJC and I am Rashid Arman coming on live on social media, YouTube, Google Plus and other social media platforms. How you doing out there? I just wanted to do a speaker up because I didn't want my material to sit. I know a lot of people want to hear me say something instead of my page just sitting there. So I'm trying to keep the ball rolling here. What happened yesterday, I was on... um. <coughs> I was on, I, I, well, I was online, but what happened was, I, I, we talked for three hours yesterday, and I was going to put this three hour picture up, up, and what happened was, I had computer troubles, it didn't even get registered, so I had to, I had to take it all off, and I was so upset, I pulled my microphone, and I broke this microphone, now I got two broken microphones now, but. I'm going to still do the best I can. I just have to take care of it, care of it in another time. It was so good. Y'all would have liked it. I cursed out a lot of people. All right? I told a lot of people to kiss my ass. and I really disgraced a lot of fucking things on social media. And y'all guys really would have liked it. It was for the family. But I got so upset that I yanked it. And I fucked up my, my goddamn microphone. So now I gotta get a new microphone and it sucks. Don't got the money, so I gotta wait. That's just the way it goes. Blame the Jews, don't blame me. Welcome again to um R V T by She's Music Jukebox. I mean um R V T. Which R V T R M J C I got used to doing those. I did two in a row. I figure it's the Christmas holiday. And speaking of Christmas holiday, I hope you guys going to have a good Christmas holiday. I really do. I hope you, you know, really enjoy yourself this Christmas and New Year's. Because I think it's old. I think it's old to everybody to have a good fucking holiday despite all the bullshit we're going through. You know, y'all not the only ones that hate this fucking world, dude, you know. And the thing about it is I put up some words on my page. And people miss missing point. I think people missing a point <coughs> of it because they're not realizing that the reason why I say it, what I say, it is because a lot of she get tears. A lot of y'all wonder why she, you know, damn well they supposed to be talking about you. <laughs> There's no fucking way, Rashi. There's no fucking way on this god green fucking earth. You ain't supposed to be on no MSNBC or CNN or some shit. There's no fucking way, Ron. So, they're telling me that because of you, the truth is being told about media. People learning about... There's no fucking way on this god green earth I ain't supposed to be in mainstream for some reason. But instead, everybody wants to steal from me, steal my ideas and shit. And that's okay. That's what I'm for. Everybody feeding off each other. We all parasiting off each other. And I'm all for that shit. I ain't against it. I'm all for it. There's no problem with that. But I wanted to put at ease to some of my people with a reason why. Once you know the reason why about things, you don't get that upset. You know, we live in a world of everybody's competition. And I ain't nobody's fuck. I don't. I feel as though nobody's worth me being in competition with. Nobody's fucking worth it. Unless we're in a marathon or something and you're in shape. I'm in shape too, but I'm just saying in general form. You know, nobody worth me competing with. You're not worth it. If somebody's not worth it, they're not worth it. Because nobody's talking about real issues on here. And sure it would be good if, you know, you look up and you see your name on somebody's list. I'm not saying no names because I never say no names around RVT. But it will be look up if it would be good if you look up. And see your name on somebody's list or somebody's talking about you. And that will be awesome. That will be fucking awesome. But we live in a world of jealous motherfuckers. See, they only going to name you if if you if they think they better than you. That's a secret in show business, you know. They only going to fuck with you if they think they better than you. If you come better than them in any way, they ain't going to have nothing to do with you. And this is what people are learning. It's the truth, man. You can deny it all you want, but it's the truth. They only gonna put you on a list or talk about you because why would somebody put somebody that's better than them on a fucking list? Why? It doesn't make sense. Would you do that? If somebody is like who's 
fishing for people just like you just like you and you see that they're more successful than you would you put them on one of your lists that'll be a that'll be a hard pill to swallow it's almost like getting a bottle of lemon juice and drinking it like a pepsi cola it'll be some bitter ass shit when you editing that bullshit so i was explaining to my people don't look for nobody talking to me i'm not saying i'm better than nobody that's not what i'm saying i'm saying we live in a world of competition on social media and in media in general and because of that, nobody ain't gonna fuck with me because I'm coming off with some crazy off the wall bullshit. You understand? So it's like that. That's what I'm saying. So don't get me wrong. Don't get my words. I mean, they say I'm better than nobody. I'm saying I'm coming off with some all the wall mind crippling fucking shit because top tens is not even on regular television. It's not regular, well, it is no more television, but it's not regular, it's not on regular media. You don't see uh, before the Pennsylvania lottery or the lottery, they say here's top tens or something. You don't see that shit. So basically it's a social media thing. So it's fairly, so these motherfuckers here is in the clouds. All right, nobody better than them coming off with some top ten shit. So my point is don't expect to look for RVT on no top tens. Now I might be staying corrected whatever but even so i wouldn't give a fuck dude i wouldn't care i would thank them or whatever but i don't know how that works if they put you on the top 10 do they tell the person baby do they tell them they putting them on the top 10 it, the proper thing is to tell somebody look i'm adding you in my top 10 so they'll know so there's no new youtube violations and shit because you can't put nobody video on your shit because it gets the law on youtube they, they tell you that before when you join youtube or, or whatever well youtube i know they don't you can't fuck with nobody's videos or put them on to they shit on your shit unless you get permission or whatever. But the point of the matter is don't look for Rashid on no fucking top tens. These some hating motherfuckers around here. And quite frankly, I'm calling only freaks. And nobody knows what freak is. But I, I'm not even going to. I'm going to entertain the way I supposed to entertain. And I'm going to leave the shit alone. But don't think I'm upset or anything like that. The answer is no. Okay? The answer is no. I'm not upset because of that. Okay, I'm not upset because that's the answer is no. And we're going to keep doing what we do. So we're going to keep, like when I first came on YouTube, all of the talent is going from YouTube. All of it. Now it's just talking, talking, talk, everybody fucking talking everywhere. And this is the entertainment. All right. I'm not, I like to do simple shit. I, like, I, I love my childhood. I'm not going to leave my childhood. And... I'm going to stick to the things that matter to me rather than sticking to things that only people catering to the audience. I'm being myself. If you don't like it, you can leave. It's that simple. That's how I do my shit around here. All right? I'm not doing shit to cater to the audience. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to fucking do it. And that's it. That's the end of that. So anyway, welcome anyway. And listen, we're going to talk about some things, have some fun, hang out for a while. Because ain't nothing to look at. And I want to put something up here that really, that we can all enjoy. And we're going to sit here and enjoy it. Because y'all hold on for a second. I got to get something to drink. Because I have to get something to drink. Because my mouth is. um. <sighs> Just hold on for fucking minute. Hold on. Because these motherfuckers. Crazy. They think I'm upset. Because nobody. Talk they, they ain't going to talk about me. They going to wish they wouldn't have talked about me later on. Anyway. When they see what we got planned. They going to wish. they gonna say, they gonna, You know what they going to say. I'm glad I didn't talk about his ass. That's all they going to say. So they doing a good thing any fucking way. I don't give a fuck about it. I really don't. I don't care. I'm gonna get some music up for this. I don't know. It's just it's just people thinking this and that. This whole stupid shit. Exactly what I'm saying. All I'm doing is giving people ideas. That's all I'm doing. That's it. I knew I was gonna do that. All I'm doing is inspiring people to talk about shit. That's all I ever did my whole life. It was inspire people and shit. 
That's all I do is give people fucking ideas. That's all the fuck I do. I don't care about it. I don't give a fuck about it. What about what if we stole some like image and get views and subscribers and shit? I wanna be I'ma still Muslim shit. How about that? I'ma still a Muslim shit. How about that fucking thing? Worldwide, there ain't no Muslims on the fucking top ten and shit. Stupid shit. See, people don't pay this shit no attention. It's all set up. It's all fucking set up. I don't know who's doing it. You know, maybe you j I don't know. I don't know. But they ain't they ain't tricking me because I'm upset because these people when I talk about me on social media, I ain't upset because of no shit like that because I know for a fact that that's not, something ain't right with that. Something ain't, how is it going to be worldwide and everybody acting in America? How does that work? Ask me, why did they, why they ain't a fucking um, um, Amazon fucking shit? Amazon people or some shit doing movie review. Why ain't no shit like that? Why is all everybody acting in America if it's worldwide? Everybody around the world, Americans and shit? I don't, I can't figure this shit out. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything in particular, but I'm just saying some shit don't add up. Why should I get upset? Because people not talking about it when they ain't been legit. They making it like the main thing on social media is white people. When they know they fucking Jews. Only Jews on Hollywood, that's their culture. Hollywood is their culture. They show movies and shit. Not white, man. That's Jew shit. They Jew boys who made Hollywood. That's their culture. So how they making like all entertainment is white people and shit. You don't see nobody wearing no Jew stuff. You don't see nobody instead of Star Wars behind them have one of them Jew candles have one of them behind them motherfuckers. And show their culture and be proud of who they are. Then when you get those three subscribers, those three subscribers will mean a million subscribers. That's all I'm saying. So don't come off like I'm angry or anything. It's just nobody being real with shit around here. No fucking body. So I'm not gonna get mad because somebody not talking about me. They ain't being, ain't keeping it real. You just fake it. You just turn it off the machine, going to your parents or your wife who are Muslim or whatever the fucked up, Jew the fuck up. That's all you're going to. And people thinking you're a white American. They ain't going no fucking where. And then on top of that, all they gonna do is take them, 
put them in mainstream and drop their back ass right back off on YouTube. I mean, uh, dude, I mean, what the fuck, dude? I'm in business. This is a business around here. See, I'm trying to start something up in this motherfucker here. That means I don't need a motherfucker, dude, talking about me. I want to talk about myself. I want to make my own Times Square. You see, I don't need nobody to put my names up in Hollywood lights and shit. I could do that my fucking self. I got cyber rock. That's Hollywood. This around here is cyber rock. It's two different things. They got, Indians got Bollywood. Two different, all different mediums. I ain't putting myself with them because they made it. I ain't make shit. I'm building my shit up. So I'm not looking for nobody to talk about me. If anyway, if they talk about me, they're going to paint me in a bad light. They ain't like they're going to paint me in a good light. So I'm not worried about that fucking shit. These these motherfuckers getting upset. They ain't talk about me. Nothing in my Gmail. Nobody calling me. Nobody. Dude, you wasting your damn time because the shit is a setup. They trying to come off like white Americans and shit. The fucker, you ain't no entertainment fucking tonight. You never gonna be no fucking entertainment tonight. I don't give a fuck about it. That's what I'm saying. I ain't trying to step on nobody fucking toes or nothing, but they, you know, you know, they ask me, you know, am I, no, I ain't upset. Fuck no. Fuck no, man. They gonna do what they wanna do regardless, man. They want white people to be the main people on social media. Not white people don't even like social media. They don't even like it because they better see they race up on there. That's the only race they wanna see. Dude, I'm not sitting you, man. Americans don't even like no fucking social media. They want to see white boy himself up on that motherfucker. Like Clinton administration shit. Been there, done that, that type shit. That's what they want to see. I know what they want to see. They want to see that been there, done that shit up on here. They don't want to see no fucking all these racists acting up white. They don't want to see that shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. And motherfuckers don't know this, but... Well, you know now. They don't even like no fucking social media if it ain't white. That's American. Shit. So they can act American all they want, but white man ain't with this shit. Some of them are. It's some of them. Very few are. Very fucking few are, dude. Very few. They want to see their own fucking race up on here. So that's a heads up on that. I don't know the truth about shit. I'm coming out here saying I'm jealous. These fucking, I don't know what kind of race they are, Jews or whoever. They the ones passing off to be white. I'm not. That's all I'm saying. I'm eating a, um, I'm eating a peanut butter sandwich, drinking lemonade. And I don't want to step on your toes in there. I'm just making shit real around here because people get misconstrued. You get, you may have, You've been misinformed, dude. You're getting misinformed about Rashid. I came on calling freaks. And I'm getting every fucking body with opinions and shit. I ain't call you. I said the lonely and depressed in spirit and heart. The people who get treated like shit. That's the people I'm going to address. I don't want to address mainstream. They ain't going to like me. I already know they ain't going to like me. So it'd be stupid to come on here and try to act like them. That's stupid shit. I ain't got time for that. That peanut butter sandwich and shit. Here, eat that. That's what I'm saying. Eat it. Oh, fuck. I got my own. If I want my see my, I don't know, if I want to see my name in bright lights, I will put my in my name. I'll put my own name in bright lights. Don't do shit for me. Please don't do shit for me. I do it my fucking self. Don't do shit for me. We got that's Indians, Bollywood, Hollywood is Jew and white. Around here, cyber rocks. We freaks around here. It's that simple. You know, stop trying to think I'm trying to get up in that fucking mainstream bullshit. Because I'm not. If I was, don't you think I'd be talking more decent than this? I'd be damned if this is the ultimate freedom of speech. How am I not going to take advantage? How am I motherfucker not going to take advantage of this? This is the ultimate freedom of speech, dude. You're not going to take advantage of this shit? Then you the crazy fuck trying to be a white boy. I ain't got nothing to do with it. We ain't got nothing to do with that. 
So, anyway, I'm not going to waste my time talking about their race, race bullshit, stupid fucking shit. Yeah, if it wasn't set up, it would be Muslims up there. If Muslims are having their own fucking shit. Here are the top 10 Muslim speeches of all some shit like that. Here's the top 10 Amish people who, here's the top 10, here's some example. Here's the top 10 Japanese creators who try to create something for Japan. Here's the top 10 Japanese dancers. Here's the top 10 Japanese singers. Here's the top 10 such and such homosexual, um, this, everything, everybody want to be white. We're Hollywood, Pick, taking Hollywood, uh, because this is what people want to see. You see, this is what people want to see, the Hollywood shit. After well, Hollywood, well, man, y'all not feeling me. So, yeah, they, they ain't gonna feel me anyway. Why even get into it? Y'all ain't gonna feel me. So why even get into get into it? Why even get into it? Here's the top ten little girls on on YouTube. Something like that. Something. Here's the top ten little girls on YouTube. Who this is it, or something? No girl, little kids don't exist. I mean, it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit. Everybody want to keep their mind up in like entertainment tonight, access Hollywood shit. You ain't, I mean, you ain't going no fucking way. I don't see nothing happening. Just like Rashid ain't going nowhere. I know I ain't going nowhere. That's why I'm building my own shit. I make my own destination to go to. Because I know ain't nothing in this muggied up shit. I ain't trying to get no fucking where. All these out of work Hollywood celebrities. And people trying to get there. Look what they doing to Bieber, stupid. Eh? Look, I ain't going to call them stupid out of respect, but... Look what they did to him. Look at that. What they call him? That guy, um, what's his name? That grown man that talk like a child. I forgot his name. But look what they did to him. They chased him away. He's just sitting up there in a nutshell. An eggshell just sitting up there. Uh, you don't even hear from him no more. You don't hear from Tron guy no more. You don't hear from none of these motherfuckers no more. But when you go to the front page, is whatever they talking about. Man, go ahead some fucking way. Somebody made that front page. Google people made that front page, and that's it. And everybody powered it the fuck up. Make my own fucking front page. I don't need that. I don't need to be on it. I read it, but I don't need to be on that. They do not like me anyway, dude. So, I ain't worried about that. It's not real. They ain't keeping it real. More people are like you if you're American up. Man, you could why is that? I wanna know why. Can we stick right there? I tell my I tell whoever stay right there, don't go nowhere. Why I got it why more people are like me because I'm American up. I don't understand it. I know the reason why. But I'm asking you the reason why. Why? <laughs> you fucker turn a porky pig right in front of me. Did it did did Stupid ass. You know, don't fucking change my name. This ain't slavery. Don't change my fucking name. And Rashid. What part don't you understand about that? You don't like it? Name your child Rashid and feel better. That's the way that go. I ain't changing shit around here. Let me get some music up here, some kind of music up here, dude. Let me see something here. I'm motherfucker thinking I'm somebody mad because they ain't talking. Don't talk about I don't want you to talk about me. I'm going to talk about you, though. Especially you do some stupid shit, so you better not fuck up. How about that? You better think about that. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. I'm just kidding around. But I never see no names around here. It's just the fact that nobody ain't keeping it real around here. Nobody keeping it real. And they expect somebody to be upset. Sure, I could come off and talk like this. This is RVT. This station I created because I'm going to get my own system going. I've seen a lot of stations around CBS, NBC, ABC. And so <laughs> I figure that if I make this... I can give this a shot. I mean, I never thought about being in broadcasting, but I thought if I do this, this could be a step in the right direction for somebody helping me out. And I think it looks pretty good, RV. Do you think I, you think, I, dude, fuck you. I will fuck. Let me shut up. Let me be quiet. Dude, no, I don't want that. 
I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. If I wanted it, I would come off like I want it. I don't want it. It's all bullshit. It's not right. Nobody flying right. Nobody swinging right. Thinking this shit is the main um social media. It is not the main social media, dude. Social media is worldwide. You don't come off with everybody trying to be American saying it's the main social media shit. That's bullshit. So my secret is, you know, I'm going to look out for y'all. Don't be upset if they're not talking about your shit. Don't be upset if they're not paying you no attention. Don't be upset over these things. Because you got to understand what social media is. It's a platform that you communicate with each other. You can show what you can do. And you will get people interested in you or not. That's all it is. Social media will never be like MSNBC. It will never be like CNN. And they could keep. It will never be like that. Never. Because it's a computer ass. A computerized fucking shit. It will never be like them. So don't take it to heart. And get. Because nobody calling you on Gmail. And all that. Don't get worried about that fucking shit. Don't worry about that. These motherfuckers making money. Eating every fucking night. We struggling around around here. I'm not saying everybody on social media, but around here we're struggling. That's what it's about, the struggle. And that's what I want to bring out. So please, please understand that. Don't get upset. Understand what's going on so you don't get upset. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Not stepping on no toes or nothing. Don't feed into their bullshit. You got to know about, you got to talk about Star Wars. You got to talk about this, the being an in crowd. See, all these things here, dude, don't, don't feed into that bullshit. Be yourself. You will gain honest people. You will gain honest viewers, dude. That's what you want, honest viewers. You don't want motherfuckers that's going to slit your throat, do you? All right, be yourself. Let them know who you are, dude. Then you will gain honest subscribers. Even if it's only five subscribers. They're honest subscribers, dude. That's what you want. You want to come off real on here. If you want to be a fake ass, open up another account. Uh, change your name and be whoever you want. But if you want to be noticed on here, my advice is a Sheikah tear. Be yourself, guys. Or else they're going to make you feel inferior. When you look at those top tens and you don't see you. When you look at other videos and they on this big vid YouTuber on another big YouTuber show, you're going to feel like shit. That's what you want? You got to understand what it's all a game, dude. They all know each other. They all fucking know each other. Can't you see that? Now stop with the stupid shit now. You can't see they all know each other? From the start, before social media, probably. Before social media. Man, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. If I had a, a cousin or a brother that had social media and had their own... Man, we are teared the fuck up, dude. Think about it. Think about it for a second. Think about it. Think, y'all. Think now. I need you to think. What if you had a relative that had an account just like you and have followers just like you not just like you they had even more followers than you and you knew this your cousin or brother whatever for since childhood what would y'all do dude what would y'all do think about it man think about it now what if you had a best friend since childhood who opened up a youtube account and had subscribers and views on his shit what would y'all do you see the point but would they tell you this shit? No, because they want you to think that they're a lovable fucking asshole. You see the point? Open your eyes, man. It's a game. It's a fucking game. Pay attention. How somebody going to be a stranger coming off on social media, a huge success, and then get mixed up with another one, and another one over here, and all got all these subscribers, and another one. Now, they, dude, use your head, dude. It's a game. It's show business. It's show business, dude. Don't beat yourself up, dude. Okay? Don't beat yourself up.
That's all I'm saying. I'm not making nobody, putting nobody in a bad light or anything. But real is real. Fake is fake. It's that simple. I heard on Deep Web you can buy subscribers, dude. You can buy views. You actually can purchase views and shit for YouTube or whatever. That's what they saying. I don't know if it's true. But it could be a rumor. I thought of YouTube go out like that because YouTube is very strict. But I heard you can buy subscribers, dude. <laughs> so, I mean, dude, use your damn head, man. Everybody trying to make something of themselves on social media. And that's the point. Everybody having a nice time. But no, I'm not upset because they're not talking. I am not. And I will never get upset because they're not talking about me. Never. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's stupid when I'm out calling all freaks. All depressed people think <laughs> they're not listening to me. What the fuck am I doing when I get somebody to listen to me? They're not listening. I don't care. Jesus, I don't care. What does that mean? Anyway, that's that shit. I love social media. I love being on the air. I'm a broadcaster. You know why? Because the fuck I said I was a broadcaster. That's the fucking why. It's that simple. Like you put on shoes in the morning. I'm a broadcaster because the fuck I said I'm a broadcaster. Peanut butter in my mouth. That's why. That fucking simple. You ain't here. You ain't here fucking me. I know your game. You ain't here fucking me. I'm broadcasting because I say I'm a broadcaster. That's the fuck why. You don't like it? Go to the front page and watch that old fucking shit. Like the fuck I seen. This ain't no real fucking entertainment shit. The real shit, them boys wearing shiny shoes. They wearing shiny fucking shoes on stage. You ain't. You in your house making some damn videos happy because you're on the top tens list. Big fucking difference, dude. Nobody trying to hear that stupid shit because your cousin put you on the top tens. Get the fuck out of here. You like trying to hear that shit. You got a big family. Good for fucking you. Only Jew people stick it together like that any fucking way. But uh, let me shut up. Let me shut up. I, I slipped. <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up, man. Oh, yeah, let me shut up. <laughs> Only Jew people kick together like that any fucking way. <laughs> Americans ain't got time for no fucking social media, dude. They want to see they fucking race all over the place. Believe that. Fuck out of here. And if they say they don't, it's because they hate Americans. They can't stand my ass. <laughs> they can't stand me. Especially that white perfect woman, she knows she, that, ooh. Now she got the right one. <laughs> she got the right one. I remember I was in the car, I was taking pictures. I drove with the white woman, so I take a picture of her feet. She said, oh my God. Her friend was like, oh, her, her Chinese friend. Like, what are you doing? I ain't taking a picture of your feet. Shut up, stupid Chinese fuck. <laughs> I gotta give a fuck. She's perfect and beautiful. I like it. That's it. You don't like it? Go eat a Dunkin' Donut and kiss my ass. Hold on. I gotta take off my shirt. I gotta take off my shirt, man. It's too fucking it's stuffy up there. Huh? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. This is my shit. This is my boy social media up in here. I don't believe I'm on social media. Check this out. Oh, y'all in for a big surprise. Y'all know shit about me. Y'all in for a big surprise. I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it'd be some Indians and shit on YouTube or top 10 Indian videos or, or some shit. You don't got none. All of them look white. You go ahead some fucking way. <laughs> Still in white people's shit. Legos. Still in all they fucking shit. All they shit. Where is for fucking with that stupid shit? <laughs> I ain't making nobody feel bad. I'm just talking, dude. I'm just don't take it to heart. My she just talk shit, and y'all know it. Don't take shit to heart. I'm just talking shit, man. But these motherfuckers think somebody fucking stupid. Cousins and shit making top tens and hyping them up and shit. That's all you do. You link that. You link it. If you get successful on YouTube, you know your cousin just opened up something. You're going to hype him up. And then the other cousin going to hype him up. Then his best friend from childhood going to hype you know, he growing. That's how they, I mean, it's simple ass shit. Then they get that thing up. They learn how to work the, um, the YouTube controllers. You get your little, oh, you know, on the right hand side, you say, um, most popular videos, the right hand side. Got Everybody want to be on that list. That's the list of who don't want to be over there on every vid or YouTube you go to. Your shit is up on there. Who don't want to be? I bet you got to pay some money to get that shit on. Like you got to pay for ads. They want 20 bucks for a YouTube ad. They pay money for those YouTube ads. You know? I ain't paying no $20 for no fucking YouTube ad, dude. That's too much money. I don't think it's worth $20. I think it's worth like twelve. I think it's worth like twelve bucks. I'll be real with you. It's worth like eleven ninety nine. It ain't worth no fucking twenty dollars. Then if you skip your ad, what is it? If you skip, if somebody skip your ad within ten seconds, then you ain't gotta pay nothing or some shit. No, I ain't. I ain't got. No, I ain't doing none of that shit. I ain't doing none of that. I ain't about none of that. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I ain't no skipping no fucking ads. So anyway, um, I'm enjoy I'm enjoy being on social media. I'm gonna sit here and talk some shit to y'all, and that's what we gonna do. That's what we gonna do, man. We gonna talk some shit. And people are upset because oh, they ain't talking about me and shit. Like you gotta get over that. We gotta get over it. Yeah, everybody see the truth. I ain't telling nobody how I made RVT. What was I thinking? I, ain't, I all you need to know was a mistake. It, it was it was a mistake. It, we just was playing around with. We was just playing around with RVT. Rashid's video to serving nations worldwide. Hey, it looks real. Then we didn't know, and then we didn't know, and next you know. Uh, that's how we did it. Hey, shit! You should see what. Nah, I ain't even gonna say the fuck out of here with this stupid shit. I've been on for a year. I've been on social media for a year and a few months. I need shows. I'm going to do all of that. But I need time. i only been on for a year and a few months. I need time, dude. I need time. I need time. RVT only been on for what? Four months? Five months? Something like that? I need time, dude. It's not going to come easy. I need time. But I'm content. I'm very content. But just get to me when I look around because it's my job as a broadcaster to look around and see what's going on around the world. And it's like, what the f I'm, I want to see other. Why do I, why am I getting served one flavor all the fucking time, dude? You know, when I look at what to look at, all these creative. Have you, have y'all guys ever watched Ripley's Believe It or Not? All right, all this shit going on in the world. Why am I getting served this boy, this, this shit all the time? And then people get upset because Rashid ain't talking about me. Or he ain't talking, he ain't say my name. Dude, everybody's doing the same thing. I want RVT to be unique, dude. I want it to be a place you can go to, to to see things that you can't see nowhere else. I don't want to talk about the obvious fucking shit. I don't want that. If I want that, I might as well get satellite TV. I might as well join a Hollywood club or some shit. I want some different ass entertainment. Something it could be quirky, it could be freaky. But long as it's different, long as it's not this bullshit they serve. This I don't like it. It's just stupid as shit. They just motherfuckers from other countries 
posing as Americans like you could go outside in America and do this type of shit. They people in their country tolerate that shit. You really think that they going up to strangers doing that shit? You see, you buy into that. They buying into that bullshit, dude. They, but it's fun to buy into Ernie is a real fucking guy. Bert is a real fucking guy. Big Bird is a real fucking bird. It's fun to believe that shit. So people will believe any fucking thing, dude. As long as it's long as it's mind candy, brain candy, they'll believe that fucking shit. You know, going up the girls kissing them and shit, all this stupid ass shit. But anyway, over in their country, maybe they maybe ain't no law against that shit. Over in America, you pull that shit, you in deep fucking water. And when you look at that, you think it's American. It will shock the shit out you. When you go out there in the United States of America, try that stupid shit, see what happened to your ass. So I ain't worried about these YouTubers. Okay? You never answer. I, I but see, I'm a continual, continuously circle people. Say nice things about people under their vids, and to them, in their eyes, it's kissing their ass. And nobody likes to be looked at like an ass kisser, dude. No fucking body. I don't give a fuck who you are. You do not like to be looked at like an ass kisser. And when you go talk to people and say, hey, I really like you and all, and they don't answer back or whatever, you feel like a doofus. Oh, now I lost because they, dude, you did not lose. Let me tell you why you didn't lose. Because nobody knows the, first of all, nobody knows the full effects of social media. It ain't been here that long for a generation to pass by it. Nobody knows the outcome of this. Okay. But what I do know is that in Hollywood, when your shit go bust, you go around and kill yourself. Like that Robin Williams motherfucker. I do know that. So, you successful on social media, nobody knows the outcome of it. So let them stay that way, dude. You continuously be the honest person you are, giving people their prompts if you think their videos are good. That's what you do. And you be honest to the social media game. That's what you do. Let them have their heads up in the clouds. But when the years come by and senior citizens can vouch for this shit and you find your ass old and you ain't make nothing on social media. You ain't make nothing with your material you got. You ain't make nothing really with all of the work you put in. You didn't amount to nothing. It's no telling how a motherfucker's going to act. Dude. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You already know from the big boys in Hollywood how they go through, how they respond to they shit, um, killing themselves and all that. Like that Hollywood, that um, Lynn guy from Hollywood Squares, that homosexual edge of that smash show. How he killed himself. Robert Williams killed himself. You know, all these celebrities killing themselves. You already see the effects of it. Now on social media, so we ain't get there yet because it ain't been here that long. Stay honest. Okay, keep it real and know your place, dude. Know your place. That way when you get older, you will say, I had a nice time. I wasn't looking for nothing, really. You see, if my shit closed down, at least we made, at least I made something here. You see the point? At least something came from Rashid Ben on social media that was unique. I'm satisfied with that. Now, as far as all being up and high, I know that's a dangerous game because people kill themselves while they up in it. It's like you've been you going in the Vietnam War and you see all these people dying all on the ground and they're about to lower the helicopter to let you off. I mean, you see what's coming, dude. That's Hollywood. You see the results from being a celebrity. Okay, now this social media lowering you to the ground. Now that's your decision if you want to jump into that mind frame like you the shit. You better than everybody. It's, that's your decision. But when the years go by now, I hope they can handle it. So they ain't got to answer me back. They could think I'm kissing the ass. But I'm going to be honest on social media because that's what it's for. And that's all I have to say about it. I finished my peanut butter sandwich and well, I kind of miss it. 
That's too bad. I love social media, dude. This is my... I'm a YouTube junkie. I was a YouTube junkie from the start, dude. I was there when YouTube first popped their first video on the screen. I've been watching all these. I watched the whole process of YouTube. The whole fucking process. The whole fucking thing. His name was Fred. The guy, the guy that talked like a baby. Yeah, thank you, sweetie. Here's the paper right here. Thank you. I see him. His name is Fred. Yeah, look where he at. Look, look where he at. He went all the way to Nickelodeon. They just threw his ass away. See what I'm talking about? Robert Williams type shit. That's what that's what they that's what you that's what you're trying to get to. That's all that's gonna happen, dude. You better enjoy social media, dude. Enjoy it, dude. Enjoy it. Let your voice be heard. Take advantage of the freeness of speech we have. So later on when the years come by, go by, you can say you did something, dude. But if you're looking for something and you see the results of it, guy, you're in trouble. Because they don't give a fuck about you. It's all the money, kid. They, try, they trying to find cash cows, dude. That's all they're looking for. All this is stock. They're looking for cash fucking cows. They're ready to grab a motherfucker, milk them, and drop their ass right back off. If you can't see it, then I feel sorry for you. I ain't like these motherfucker other broadcasters. They talk about what the government do. I don't talk about that government shit. Only when it when it's on the show. I talk about what's going on. But they don't because they gonna do what they want to do anyway. I'm sticking to what I know. Social media. I don't give a fuck about all that government shit. You got all these people and shit. And they don't they I subscribe, they don't subscribe me back. Well that's what I want. That's what I want, dude. That's what I want. I feel, I feel like I'm a child, just getting fucked over all the time. I like that. That's why I came on looking for freaks to begin with. And I circle people because I want the eyes on me. They listening right now, right? Then I got what I want. It's that simple. I don't give a fuck about them circling me back. I got what I want. They listening to me. I bet you they listening right now. That's all that matters to me. I want your eyes on me. That's the fuck why I did it. And because I thought we could be friends and all that comes. <laughs> no, first comes because I thought we could be friends. But because you said go fuck myself, I want your eyes on me, motherfucker. And because you can't. <laughs> I <I'm> say. <saying, laughs> no, listen, listen. At first, when I first circle somebody, it's. I did it because I thought we were going to be friends. And, but because you want to say, fuck you, Rashid, you sad nigga, or whatever. Now, I want your eyes on me. That's why I fucking, that would change now. Now, now I want your fucking eyes on me. That's why I circled your ass. <laughs> That's why I subscribe to you. Because I want your eyes on fuck on me. That's why. Since you want to be a sarcastic son of a bitch. <laughs> That's why he circled me. I ain't circled him back. That's what I want. I want that shit. Anybody that circled me, I circled them back. I was an honor that TYT circled me. I was a I was honored that TYT circled me. And I was honored that Danny Bonaducci circled me back. And they big you don't get bigger than that. They big time celebrities and they got a list on on um one of these top tens. I don't say no top tens because I ain't trashing nobody. But they got a list where the most controversial YouTubers, and I'm surprised TYT wasn't on it. You know, I don't, I don't even fuck. I don't, I don't even worry about that shit. I don't even worry about. It. It's, it's just it, it, the cousins that we knew, we knew each other from childhood. They ain't telling the people. They making each other, and then they actually know it grows in us. So people believe this shit that they really are somebody. When in reality, you're looking at their videos. And you're not seeing no way on this God green earth that they should have no million subscribers when they don't fucking do nothing. They don't, they're not doing anything. Because they taking care of each other. That's why they knew each other from childhood. They all clubs and shit. Kids, soccer mom kids and shit growing up. They shit like that. That's all the fuck they are. Thinking somebody's stupid. Go ahead, so fucking weird, dude. You ain't, you ain't fooling me. You ain't fooling me. Ain't that much friendship. But you ain't doing nothing but sitting there talking every video. How the fuck you get millions of subscribers? 
I don't see no talent whatsoever doing no countdown of top 10. I don't see no talent. How the fuck you get millions of subscribers? Now, some of them top 10s deserve. Deserve. Um, they have millions of subscribers. But I'm not doing it. I'm going to tell you why I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it because they think they the shit. That's why I'm not doing it. And people like that, I don't feed. See, you got to feed that. When people think they the shit on social media, they want to get fed. And how they get fed is people subscribing to them or circling them. That's how they get fed. I ain't feeding them. If they came off modest and honest, I will feed them. I would. I fucking would. But I don't think they, I think they think they just number one. That's why I'm not feeding them. I'm not supporting nothing like that because in later on in life, when something happens, they're going to think of how she's subscribing. They are. They are because you always think of your subscribers, dude. And you always think of your circles, dude. You always do. And later on in life, they're going to be thinking of shit. Oh, uh, he subscribed to me and I ain't, I don't want to be part of their fucking miserable fucking life. I don't want to be subscribed. I don't want to be part. I know it sounds, yo, some people understand it. Some people don't. You got to, I don't circle nobody who I think they think they the shit. I, I just don't. Because I'm feeding something that I know is going to be disastrous. They don't see what I see. They ain't doing nothing but sitting down and talking shit, dude. How the fuck they all like this? I don't understand it. It's a setup, and I'm not feeding it, and that's why I'm not subscribing to nobody really that I feel as though not worth it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So that's just my intake on that, and I'm, at least I'm honest about it. Y'all motherfuckers, you know, y'all don't do it because, oh, y'all never will say the reason why. Y'all just not going to do it and say something because they stupid, because this, but you know you're just jealous and hating. That's why y'all don't do it. At least I'm coming on here saying why I don't do it. Because I'm not feeding they shit. I'm not. If y'all can understand that. Some of y'all do. Some of y'all don't. It's a loser kind of thinking, dude. It's a, it's, I'm a loser. We're losers around here. So it's a loser kind of thinking. That's why I'm, I'm, going, I'm coming off like that. Because I don't think that. That they worth, I don't think it. I don't think they worth all them subscribers they got. So I'm not going to feed that shit. It's not worth it. If somebody really fucking good, I'll subscribe to them. I would. Real, it's rare that I subscribe to somebody on YouTube. No, it's rare because I will offend a lot of people. They say, Rashi, I don't want you on my list. You know, because you raunchy. You're in dark humor. You offend, you know, people. You, I, you know, but. You know, only real strong people subscribe to Rashid, dude. It's that fucking simple. You got to be one strong son of a bitch. And I respect everybody who does it because they're showing they got balls. They look at Rashid, all right, that's the motherfucker. All right, that's good. All these punk asses don't subscribe to me. No offense to nobody who didn't subscribe to me. You got your reason, but you're still listening now. That's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? You like... The shows that Rashid give you, but you can't support shit. Now, I'm using my subscribing circles, which I don't give a fuck about, like I said. I really don't. But I'm using them because people look at that. So, maybe I could use that to get my point across better. But I'm seeing that don't work. So, we got two things that don't work. We got, when I first, I wanted all women subscribers because I wanted to be like Hugh Hefner. That didn't work. Now, me coming up, yep, now it's coming up with this. Um, subscribe so we can have um, a following, a huge following, because of it will look better. That I'm finding out. I'm, I'm just we're, we're just finding out that don't work either. So I don't think I could use those subscribers in, in uh, fucking view shit. I tried to because I don't give a fuck about it, but I tried to use it. And it's not working. It's not working. It's still still not working. People just uh, I don't know. I don't understand it. And when you're a YouTuber. It's very hard on you to accept that people don't like you on social media. I was watching one girl. She started her own show. This is a, a young girl. And she did like 12 episodes. And I saw the change in her. I'm not saying her name. But she came on like, hey, guys. She was a normal girl. I mean, I'm talking normal right from 
going to college or school, just coming home in the house. I'm starting my show. Did she used her name? This is my show, and she did her shit. And by the twelfth episode, by the thirteenth episode, she did. She came in the ear and said, "Guys, I got an announcement to make. I'm not doing the show no more." And by in that time, we did. We wasn't even. We wasn't even on social media when we saw this. We wasn't even on it. But that show, and I was so hurt. I wanted to reach out and grab her white ass so bad and say that you are so wrong, sweetie. You are so wrong. But anyway, by the third episode, she came on and said, "I just want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say something, to everybody. I'm not gonna. I'm closing down my show because I'm not getting the 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 respect that I thought I was gonna get. All I'm getting is nasty comments underneath my channels." And I'm not getting the respect I deserve. So I'm close. And I just wanted to just reach through the computer and grab her fucking ass, dude. I did. I really fucking did. But to make a st long story short, this is before I could subscribe, got my fucking shit up. This is when I ain't know how to subscribe to YouTube or Google Plus. And I just watched people. And I just wanted to grab her so bad. That just ate me up inside. But I know who I'm dealing with. That's why I'm saying fuck everybody. You see the point? Do everybody get the point now? What's going on here? Please tell me y'all get the point. Please. See, it's shit like that I'm talking about. Don't. I'm only calling certain crowds to me. And, and in time, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. I already know what I'm working with, in other words. I already know what I'm working with. It's just such fucking full of shit. People just so rude and just ignorant and just mean. Just mean. No, don't like no or Don't worry about how I made RVT. Don't even worry about it. I shit it out my ass. My baby shit out of the ass and I put it up there. That's how the fuck it's done. That's all you getting from me. Now, don't subscribe me back and just keep watching. No stupid shit. You had no right treating her that way. Just stupid, senseless ass shit. It just really got to me. That's a world we living in, I guess. And I want y'all guys to be friends with me because I was looking for friends and I found them. And y'all know I succeeded on this motherfucker here. Don't even try it with me. Y'all know I succeeded on here. I kept all because you know we first came on. Yeah, I'm looking for friends, guys. Everybody treat me like shit. I'm looking for somebody I can talk so, and I found them, and everybody saw it. And don't fuck around and say you did. You did. If you follow me that far back, I already know what I'm working with. And that And it's just a trip, man. It's um I'm gonna come around here, you're gonna hear me talk. I'm gonna entertain you, but I'm gonna put up shit like this and talk my ass off. Cause that's what social media for. And I'ma do that. That's what I'ma do. Now go play with your nipples and jerk off. Fuck out my damn face, haters. <clears throat> Give a fuck about you. Anyway, um... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. This is social media, dude. I'm keeping it real. I'm a social media buff. We social media buffs around here. I don't play games. I don't got time for playing fucking games. People ripping me off, stealing my ideas. I ain't saying shit. That's what I want. That's what I want, dude. That's why I'm emperor of the internet, like I said. And I don't need no numbers to define my ass. I don't need no numbers to define me. You need numbers to define you with all those subscribers. I don't need numbers to define me. I know your fucking ass is looking and listening. I already know it. I don't need numbers to define me, dude. I don't need it. Oh, we came across a lot of good people on YouTube, man. A whole fucking lot of good people. Oh, most of them gone. 
Most of them, they moved on to Twitter or something. Most of them just, they don't even fuck with YouTube no more. They just go from Twitter or Facebook or someplace. I finally know the words, started to pronounce they fucking shit. And they moved on to shit. We did. We learned the words, baby. We did. So they moved on with shit, dude. I saw, I was on YouTube when it first came out with their first video. First fucking one. And I said, what's this, a TV on fucking, um... Social media, it's called YouTube. What is this? Oh, people could send in videos. Then I said, eh, not interested. That's the first thing I said, not interested. But I wanted to, we wound up watching all these, all this amazing. And when the GIFs came out, you know, the GIFs, those things that go over and over again, people doing stupid shit. When they was fucking with that 300 and all this cat GIFs, it was the funniest thing I ever fucking seen. The world have never seen it before. Somehow it changed from that. To a co who's smarter than everybody shit. I don't know where this came from. But let's get one thing straight around here. Number one. All of this is a setup. That's number one. Because they all look white. Alright. Nothing else to say. I'm going with the fun shit on YouTube. Don't pull me into that. I got to talk about Star Wars to look smart bullshit. Don't pull me into that. Because they great fuck you anyway. So I ain't worried about it. I mean, they ain't great. They ain't, they ain't, Star Wars people ain't great to do nothing but dick you upside your damn head when they release that fucking nigga up shit. That's all they great to do. Y'all sit back and take it. I was, we was thinking. We had a meeting, guys. She could tears. Now listen. We had a meeting around here where we decided to go and see the Star Wars thing. Because we got you I got you guys all ready for my opinion about it. And my manager said, Rashid, wouldn't it be better if we go see it rather than getting it from ear to ear? Cause you know, people that's it I said that's a good idea. We had a meeting about it and it was like no. Because the reason why I'm gonna tell you why we're not gonna see that. Number one, it has history with me. I'm an old Star Wars fan. My shit ended Return of the Jedi. It's history with that, with me, being in the projects. I escaped to my worlds playing with the toys that was out, the action figures. I escaped the project scene, and I took off in another. And as Father Rashid, they think, my, my people think and know and know that that means something to all of us, that I did that. Because I expanded my imagination by playing with those Star Wars action figures, I was able to better myself as a person. Of how I want to see my entertainment. So they hold that as great value. I, I play with Star Wars. I play with. They had. Um, Buck Rogers. I played with that. With the elbows that bent. And they had the corny ass action figures. The black hole. They was the corny ones. But anyway they had. And these action figures I used to better myself. So it has history with me. Personal history with me. So when I see them take it and shit on it. I'm not going to watch. We not we decided not to watch no shit like that. But what I will do, what I will do is get feedback from it and let you guys know if it's a good shit or not. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to sit back and, and go pay no money to say I don't give a fuck about me. Uh, I'm a broadcaster. This is my job bullshit. I don't give a fuck about that. All right. I'm telling y'all the real deal about it, so y'all will understand why I'm not going to do it. Maybe it doesn't have history with you. But in the 70s, it was a mad cornerstone for me of escaping my environment and drip, drifting off to another world and how, what stories I could come up with playing with those action figures. So Star Wars holds a personal side to me. And I'm not going to go spend my money to see. I already know what it is. I already know what they're doing. They even telling, subliminal, subliminally, subliminally telling people that they fucking with it. By them delaying it and shit. They telling people they fucking with it. And quite frankly, you got to be a goddamn fool to spend your money to see that. This black woman all up in the camera. I'm so excited to be a part of this. Everybody's waiting to see me. And this black woman is in the, in the motion picture. And to see stuff like that, this is an American format. Of entertainment when there was really any good entertainment for kids. 
in space back then. You only had a couple. You had Star Wars, Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon. You just had a few. And I'm not going to see it destroyed like that. Now it's all Af now it's a, a Afro American strong cast. Now I'm not gonna destroy it like that because see when I was playing with Star Wars and the projects, niggas we was going to fuck off with that shit. When I brought the toy, cause sometimes I brought them on a the step, and my project friends used to go over and play with the toys with me, and somebody down the street had a better set. We all go play with his toys and shit. So it, it holds and to see something like this it, it, it's a wrong message it's a terrible message i don't want to pass it on to my kids and i'm not going to pass it on to my thinking i don't want that subliminal shit in my head so i'm gonna just get feedback from it and i'll tell y'all about it that's my that's just the way i feel about it that's just the way i'm going about it and i'm sorry guys but we decided not to go see that i'm not going to see that fucking movie i'm not going to do it Some people just don't care. They don't know the value of what Star Wars was back when you was a child watching Return of the Jedi. Because Han Solo frozen. You want to see him get unfroze. That, everybody was on the edge of their fucking seat. And now they taking it and destroying it. I'm not going to see nothing like that, guys. So, no. I'm not, we decided not to see it. That's the answer. That the king has ruled. You don't like it? Go to front page. It's all right there for you. Okay, it's all right there for Legos, from Legos to Star Wars to every fucking thing else. Go right there and see it. But you ain't going to see it here. Because I ain't reviewing, I ain't going to see that shit. I'll review it, but I'm not going to see it. The answer is no. We're not going to see it. We don't want, no, we don't know, want nothing to do with that shit. Not like that. I'm going to laugh at you, though. Ain't no, ain't no fucking way. If it ain't good, I'm going to laugh at y'all. I ain't going <laughs> to... Guys, I know, I know. Ain't no fucking way that God green earth we not gonna laugh at y'all on social on this um R V T. There's no way. Or I'm J C we gonna laugh, ain't no doubt about it. But I wanna get your opinion of it. I just I just I'ma see if it's a good movie or not. I gotta see this so ain't no doubt I'ma laugh at you, no doubt about it. And then maybe um they'll come up with another movie or something, I don't know. Don't know. I'm just trying to keep it real around here because nobody keeping it real nowhere. Nobody. I like doing YouTube videos and I'm going to keep doing YouTube videos and I'm not looking to be in no goddamn Hollywood. I'm not. I don't give a fuck about that. They just chew you up and spit you out. Dude. That's all they do. There's no telling what kind of paranoid shit you're going to have. Everybody knowing how you look and shit when you get older. There's no telling what kind of side effects this social media going to have on you. Nah, I ain't taking no chance. Nah, fuck that. I ain't living my fucking um, senior citizen life looking neck and Nah, fuck that shit. I ain't doing it. Nothing, nothing is better than privacy, dude. Nothing. Privacy and a freedom of speech. Nothing better than those two things right there. And when you people, you don't know what kind of, how you going to be acting when you get older now. And you fail, you better make something of your fucking ass on here. I tell you, you better make something of your fucking ass, dude. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. He, these old people, go talk to a senior citizen. They talk to themselves. You see them in a the room by themselves talking. Talking to their child, their people, and their um, fucking family. Close the door, and they sitting in a room by themselves. Get the kids uh, out the bathtub. See, them, that's their memories coming back, fucking them up, dude. And around here expecting to be somebody, you better be somebody, dude. Because you just crushing your senior citizen life. They say life begins at age 50. So you better know what you're doing, dude. That's all I got to say. You better know what you're doing. Ain't no motherfucking way I'm going out like that. Just something to think about. I ain't gonna fuck around and beat around a bush about shit. I'm gonna keep it real around here. A bunch of sweet ass on that. I'm gonna tell you the things that's gonna to help you, you know. That's what I do. And nobody talking about shit. I love being a broadcaster. Uh, and I'll always be a broadcaster. I found my calling. 
Like I still believe being a taxi cab driver is my calling. I still believe that. And after taxi cab is the broadcast, and I believe this is my calling. And I like this because I like to talk, and people like to hear me talk also. To a degree. Get to American though; they don't like to hear me talk. So. Not too American now. They don't like that shit. They don't like my shit talking like that. They, they say, you're kind of supposed to be talking like you ain't supposed to be acting. Only niggas and white and hunkies supposed to be acting like this. Not you. I know. That's why I'm doing it. You see? Do you know how you make a sandwich? You get a piece of bread. You put peanut butter on it. Or salami or whatever your choice. Tuna fish. Egg salad sandwich. My baby's favorite. On, on rye bread. Cindy's favorite. One of her favorites. You get lettuce, tomatoes, onions. And you put another... Bread on top. And you got a sandwich. Okay. I know you don't want me acting like this. That's why I'm doing it. What part don't you understand? Now figure that out. Figure it out in your gorilla heads. And that's the end of that bullshit. You know America funny home videos around here. Bob Saget was on a movie talking about some and J David Chappelle movie said he sucked dick. Ain't no American uh, family home videos around. He ruined his fucking career. Ain't that shit around here, dude. You go from America's hosting America's funny home videos to coming out saying you suck some damn dick for some damn crack. Crazy ass shit. World going to sugar the shit. And he ruined his shit. One of the first ones ruining America. And Hefner joined in. And there you go. You got a chain reaction of people ruining their uh, image. Well, go ahead. Ruin your image. I ain't ruining my fucking image because I ain't got an image to begin with. Because I'm, I'm not white. I'm not black. So I don't have an image to begin with. I ain't got nothing to lose. Parker Lewis can't lose. Oops, that show got ruined. They ruined their image. That show got fucked up. There you go with that. Everybody doing it. It's a thing now. No, I ain't with that thing. I ain't with that. So, that's the end of that. Guys, I am so sorry if I'm upsetting y'all in any way. In any way. But that's just the way it go down. Anybody want to act stupid? Let's all act stupid. I don't give a shit. Wait a minute. My dog, she, yeah, she wants to come in. So, I'm going to go down right now. So, hold on for a second. Listen, listen to some music. I'm going to take care of y'all. Y'all li listen to some music. I'm going to take care of y'all. Listen. I'll be back. We, I gotta go to bear from now. I gotta go to bear from now. Hold on. Listen to some more Benny and June. That fucked up ass movie. He failed. The times when Johnny Depp, y'all thought he was a white boy. Listen to that. Be back.
Hey, 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 man. Did they come off like this and shit? I'm gonna tell you so. This is how they come off. This is how they come off. <laughs> you laughing already before I even say anything, sweetie. Move on, sweetie. Move on. This is how they come off and shit. Hey, man. I saw your videos on YouTube, man. And, and uh, yeah, man. I watch yours too. Yeah, you got over 33,000 subscribers. Oh, man. You see, I got almost a million. Yeah, I was thinking, hey, what about you? You want to come on my show and all? That's a good idea, man. Maybe you can come on my show. Wow. Regular, oh, you got your peanut butter and my chocolate. You got your that type shit. And there you go. Hey, you come on my show. That'll really uh, make us, uh, you know, I'll get some of your audience. you get some of my audience. Yeah, hey, 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 baby. Hey, baby. Nigga from the 70s. Nigga from the 50s and 60s said, hey, baby. That's how it's done, baby. That's how it's done. Get the fuck out of here. What's going on, Rollo? Ain't nothing but the shaking but the baking, baby. Hey, you know that. Hey, check this out here, skin. That's how it's done, man. Really? That's how it's done? That type shit. Thinking somebody a fucking idiot. Go ahead, some fucking weird, dude. Ain't nobody hating around here. That's for fucking sure. Ain't worth it. They ain't, they ain't doing nothing to begin with. Talking about this old stupid ass shit that other people doing and shit. That's why everybody, all the entertainment is talking about other people. What about you? What about what can you, what can you do? Fuck talking about people and shit. What can you, what about you? You, you, you. What about what you, how you feel about shit? How do, what about what you do? I mean, what about you do? Fuck your opinion about somebody else. What about what kind of person are you? You showing your ass all around social media and everything. What about you? Every fucking thing you talking about somebody fucking else. Make a small movie about you trying to get a job or something, or or you or you just going out to get something to eat in a restaurant and see. You know, people want to know about you. What about you? Running that shit, running and hiding that shit, like you running from the draft. Always pointing your finger, talking about some fucking body. What about you? Do it sound like I want people to talk about me? What about you? Show yourself getting a, going to the bathroom, washing up or something, brushing your teeth. I already brushed my teeth and now. I do something like that right fucking now, but I ain't got nothing to do. That's why I came on the air. That's why I'm on the air now. I ain't got nothing to do. That's a good idea. I could do that. Why you don't want me to do it? We send him. I send him. Saying, no, you ain't doing no shit right now. Fuck no. <laughs> I bring the shit in the bed while I'm washing up. Let them experience the Rashi experience when I wash my. Oh, God. It feels... mm. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Anyway, y'all, she could tell shut up. <laughs> I love social media. I can't get enough of it, man. I'm dying. I'm dying. We gonna go downstairs. Why are you Why are you taking it to my ass? She take. She putting me through it. Dude. She putting me through it. Come on. I'm playing with you. Want to play with the rats downstairs and shit? Come on. Here we go. to play with the rats and fucking mice and shit. This is a war that we're under. This is a war. We're being sabotaged and y'all waiting for Star Wars. That's what I'm laughing at also. I ain't gonna even get into that fucking shit. I ain't gonna get into that because Davy Jones did. And that's the end of that.
Oh well. What I'm gonna talk about now for another hour. I'm just wasting your time because I ain't got nothing to fuck to do. And I love it. And I'm gonna tell you, I love it. Waste my time. Y'all waste my damn time. I think I'll waste your time for a while. How about that? <coughs> Bastards. They probably got another window open and everything while I'm talking. That's how I'm looking. You ever see Platoon? You ever see that movie Platoon? Alright, if you ever see the, the movie Platoon with Charlie Sheen, remember that part? They was looking at that gook, and it was like he probably cut my balls off if he had a chance. And he was just standing there, and it was look. That's how I'm talking to y'all right now. You'll probably got another fucking window up while y'all hear me. I'm talking to y'all just like that. You don't know how bad I'm gonna slam your damn fingers down on them. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Do I give a fuck about it? Gorilla, gorilla people all around. They got windows open while they listening to me. Gorilla people all around me. I don't appreciate that fucking shit, but ain't nothing I can do about it. Uh, they, they, that's not. I not. I don't want to address that. I don't want to go there. Wait for that Star Wars movie and that set, and you'll be straight. You'll be straight. Just wait for the Star Wars shit. You'll be alright. They'll take care of you. They will take care of you, dude. With pleasure. With fucking pleasure. They'll take care of you. They got something for you. Well, she, I'm so, I'm so fucked up that I never went Halloween door to door at trick or treating when I was a child. I'm so fucked up, dude. When I come to the door. The fucking the answer when kids knock on my door to ask for candy, I answer the door. The kids give me candy, thinking I'm fucking a, uh, I'm a freak, dude. I, I... I ain't worried about that shit. Hey, you stealing my jokes, my G? Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, you stealing my jokes? You stealing them? Stealing my jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Social media, everybody waiting to be in the business, huh? They waiting to be in a business. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you, the business is hard, it's hard. They don't know what the fuck they doing anyway. Every time, no, my kids look at it because they know they ain't great stuff. Because every time I do Rodney Danger for a land, I like him so much. Well, I like him. Rest his soul. I like you too. Thank you for calling me out of the grave. <laughs> what you got going on here? Social media, you got to pick you up on stage or on the screen, man. Oh, I tell you, who ever thought you could talk on computers? <laughs> I mean, I was younger, they robbed us with them. Now you're talking on them. I'll tell you what's going on around here. <laughs> Go ahead, Rod. Kick some hands, Rod. I tell you, they, they bullshit, no respect around here. Got Google Plus over here, Twitter over here, YouTube over here. Oh, what's going on over here? Where am I? <laughs> Rajin, it ain't funny. Listen to me. <laughs> Everybody waiting for Star Wars. <laughs> they should have named this Star Wars Visits Africa. <laughs> <laughs> they should have named it Star Wars Visit Africa. That's what they should have named it. <laughs> Give Coot the Kit a lifesaver. <laughs> that way, when a white man come, you know what to do. That's what they should have did. That's what they should have did. I give no respect. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Yeah, that's right. Bet your sweet ass. Go ahead, Rod. Say some more, Rod. Say some more. Make us laugh up here. A bunch of sweet ass. I tell you, a lightsaber beat the fuck out of a whip. <laughs> Why stop with whatever, America? Well, you got them all a lightsaber. <laughs> Let the white man pull out a whip now. <laughs> <laughs> now they do it. <laughs> and it's a fine. <laughs> now they get a nigga like slave. I tell you, no respect in the world is falling apart. <laughs> Where was the lightsaber Rodney King Ryan? <laughs> Rodney King could have really used one. I tell you. <laughs> Now they get a nigga like Sam when Rodney King is dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Let me stop acting so fucking stupid. Now, gee, you know I acting stupid, you're being real. <laughs> Kuta kicked there with a lightsaber. I'll tell you what's next. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they want. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I want a lot of stuff too, but I ain't getting it. <laughs> I want to be out of this grave. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's some funny shit, man. That's some funny fucking shit, there. That shit is on top, man. We needed that laugh. Oh, God. Anytime you want to come over, you just let me know. I'll let you know. No problem, Roddy. No fucking problem, dude. <laughs> oh, but anyway. <laughs> I just don't understand it. You know, these people came a long way, Rashi. You know, that's all I'm going to say about it. They came a long way. They deserve to have a lightsaber. <laughs> the only problem is that Chewbacca is jealous. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> is the white man flip or did he flip? Is he flipping? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh my shit! God damn it! Anyway, y'all, you know I'm gonna just talk. Um, we're gonna just hang out, something to look at, you know. That's what it's about, something to look at. And um, well, just enjoy yourself, I guess. Where the music at? Oh, boy. As y'all hear, I'll play my 80s music. And I'm doing nothing but wasting time. Uh, it's boring. Uh. Excuse me, guys. I just got gas. One of them fucking things. Love and lead. Hmm. Love and lead. Well, they was doing it for a while, but then all of a sudden, I don't know. I like y'all guys liking some damn Rashid. That's for sure. Y'all like Rashid. 
That's what I'm talking about. Come here and listen to me talk. I like that. I really do like that. Oh, well. But I don't mean the heart on the, the social media problem. It's just, you know, a lot of things going on. And y'all know the deal about shit, dude. I mean, don't be a damn fool. I hate to see y'all she get tears being played. I don't fucking like it, dude. I don't like y'all being played, man. And don't get feed. Don't get caught up in this fucking hype like they somebody and you not. Dude, don't please don't do that shit. Please don't do that shit. It's all about people liking you, dude. That's what it's all about. People liking you. And what's more important about you liking what you do. And you and what you do is satisfying to you. That's what it's about. Now, people got a way of taking something and changing shit around. You got four views. I got. 50 views. Dude, what difference does he make? You still got some, some views. It doesn't make a difference. That's the point I'm trying to make. Somebody is still viewing your material. Even if it's one person. Jesus said, oh, if, if, if the Bible was here on the planet Earth, if one person listened to his gospel, that was enough. One person, dude. So you got to have that kind of mind frame. If one person find you okay on social media then you're in the right place in the right place you got these other people on here that will change shit around and laugh at you because you got that one person you see the point don't let that ignorant monkey behavior destroy your experience on social media you should be enjoying yourself rather if you got two people or millions of people it doesn't matter dude you see the point don't let them get to you with that shit. Them fuckers, they ain't talk, even though they got all of that, even though they look like all of that, even though they seem like all of that, what are they doing? Are you going to a YouTube video or whatever video? And when you sit down and watch them, you go, oh, man, this is going to be good. Are you saying that out your mouth, yes or no? That's what you go by. Worry about content. Worry about what you see because numbers can be deceiving. You know that. Hype can be deceiving also. What are you seeing, dude? That alone should put you at ease. Unless you go crazy. They're not even doing nothing on these videos. I can't believe it. They're not even doing it. See, that, you will go crazy if you think like that. You shouldn't get that elaborate with your decision making while you're viewing their material just know what they are doing and be content with that they're not doing nothing but talking to <laughs> they're talking talking ain't nobody going to Universal Studios Universal Studios got a new uh, thing. They're absolutely right. Universal Studios got all that shit. All that shit on a new ad they got. But you got to have the money. If you ain't got the money, you can't enjoy none of that shit. But whether you have the money or not, they have it right there. That's what the entertainment is. If you have the money, it'll be good if you go down there and check it out. And I'm I'm be honest with you. You need money to go enjoy that shit. I don't. We don't have it like that. And if you have it like that, you should go down there and check it out. Do a You know. Are you sitting there watching these videos, going, "Oh my gosh, this is so good." You know, they they do. They're only talking. They doing the same thing. On, they do the same thing on the View. They do the same thing on the Today Show. It's the same thing. Why are you feeling bad about some shit like that? I don't I don't understand it. 
Because I know what you're thinking. You said because I can't believe people like this stupid fucking shit. I can't believe. Look what I'm doing. Look what do I understand? We have this. We got that shit. But look at what they're doing. Don't beat yourself up over it, dude. Enjoy your time on social media. Enjoy your time spent on social media. That's what it's about. It ain't about all this other bullshit. Because now there's no more trying, guys. There's no more, um, these people doing the most stupidest shit and getting recognition. There's no more none of that. Now everybody want to be fucking Walter Cronkite now. All of a fucking something. Or they doing some stupid ass shit. This is still them talking. Won't they? And I know mean they, cause you ain't talking the fuck about me. So anyway, won't they just take their shit and go to an amusement park? Spend a day in an amusement park. Won't they take their shit into a real movie theater? No, I ain't gonna. I'm gonna do all that shit. I ain't even gonna talk about it. I ain't giving nobody no ideas. No, I ain't giving nobody. You're already ripping me off with shit. I ain't giving nobody no ideas. Next, you know, it'll be somebody with a real fucking thing in a fucking theater. I ain't giving nobody no. See, I'm gonna do all that shit. They ain't. The only reason I'm doing it because I ain't got the equipment right now. But I'm gonna do that shit. So let them have all the subscriber interviews. What are, what is the content? What is the content? Talking. Talk, 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 talk. Don't be upset over no shit like that. Be creative. Do your shit. And even if you get one person, dude, looking at your shit, that's enough. That's enough, man. That's enough. Don't fall into their bullshit. Don't fall into their social media bullshit, man. They're not doing nothing but talking. It's about being creative and, and entertainment and holly and, and show business. It's about being creative, dude. It's not about sitting on your ass talking all the damn time. Or doing some stupid shit. And being huh? And, and doing that, they number they got all these subscribe. Dude, who you fucking with, man? Who you fucking with, dude? Yeah, you got a lot of fucking relatives. That's all the fuck I was going on here. Y'all like ants. That's all the fuck I was going on here. Let me get out my fucking face with that shit. I think somebody fucking stupid, man. You got a lot of you got a lot of friends. Y'all mother, y'all must have kicked ass when y'all was little on that soccer team. That's all the fuck going on here. You gotta be out your goddamn mind. Stop talking all the time about people. Talk about you. How you feel about shit. What's your opinion about shit? Talk about that. Stop sticking to fucking numbers. If you like numbers so much, go in fucking Wall Street. Go in fucking corporate. If you like numbers so fucking much, get to a racetrack. Ain't about no fucking numbers. Social media is about entertaining your audience. Or coming on showing what you can do. Either way you want to look at it. That's what it's about. It's not about all this other bullshit. Don't get caught up in that hyper bullshit. That's all I'm saying, guys. So, I'm going to leave now. I'm going to close this down. I think I talk, I, don't, I was going to talk for another hour. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't have nothing to say. That's the fuck. Why? I ain't got nothing to fuck to say. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I ain't got nothing to say. I got nothing I got nothing really interesting to say. So, I'm not going to sit on sit and talk. I'm going to go get, I'm going to go do something and watch something. I don't know. But I ain't going to just sit and be talking here with,
You know, it's all it's all a gag. It's all a fucking game, dude. Show business is a game. It's a gag. It's a game. Rick roll. Let me <coughs> let me get an example. Let me get an example. You hear this right here? You hear this? They had something on social media where you call what it was called Rick Rolling and shit. The funniest fucking thing you ever seen in your goddamn life. Dude, if you didn't drop your machine or fall out of chair when you got Rick Roll, you was an idiot. Who created Rick Roll? Do you ever hear from the guy? What about him? What about one of these guys who sit and talk so much? Won't you go look for these guys who make these things up that everybody taking advantage of? Won't you go ham on your show? What made you come up with Rick Roll? What made you come up with that? Oh, I came up with Rick Roll because won't you have some shit like that? They get no credit. The person that invented memes, the the word, the picture with the words all around it. Who made that up? They get no credit for it, dude. Where they are? Where they are they? I bet you they pissed off, though. I bet you they pissed off. See, these the motherfuckers, if they had millions of subscribers, I could understand. You see the point? Everybody always feeding off each other, but nobody doing nothing. Go find the people who invented these things and have them on your show. Instead of, they, man, there's some stupid. See, that's what I mean. I ain't got time for this shit, y'all. That's why when I first came on, I said I don't give a fuck about you because I already know the game. We already know the game. We've been watching YouTube for years. We already know the game. Don't tell me shit. I already know every fucking thing about it. I don't give a fuck about no numbers, and I definitely don't give a fuck about nobody liking me. Giving me a thumbs up. I don't give a fuck about none of it. And that's another thing. The thumbs up thing. What the fuck is a thumbs up? What the? How do you fucking get a thumbs up? What? The, how the fuck you? How the fuck does that work? After they give you a thumbs up, now what? When they say, when they go to your shit and thumb up, now what? Now what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? They like you. They already viewing you. That means they like you. See, they come up with all this shit that don't make sense. And they get emotionally attached to it. Guys, you know what? I ain't even gonna get into it. I ain't even gonna get into that. I ain't gonna it's time for me to go stick around to RVT for more entertainment because you know I'm gonna bring it to you. You know I give a fuck about you, dude. And don't forget around here, you guys are my she And if if they don't like it, they don't come around here. It's that simple. I'm a we gonna drop it. Like the fuck around here. Every chance we get, we're going to drop it like the fuck around here. Because these guys, are, they on Planet Nine, that fucking movie with that fucker there. They, they on that fucking shit. Don't feed into this bullshit, y'all. You are somebody. You will always be somebody. And don't let these motherfuckers change your YouTube videos, how you view yourself, and how you view YouTube and social media in general. Alright? I got to go. Take care.